Hey guys, RPR, and I'm not done with this fake FSU shooting because a crisis actor and fraud has been absolutely busted and exposed. So if you didn't watch my last video on this, go back and watch that one, then this one uh, to get the full scoop because this video is just going to hammer it in and pile on the evidence here. So check links below. Now get ready for this. The so-called witness and student by the name of Blair Stokes, whose tweet and testimony was featured all over the media with odd and awkward interview as always, as they always are in these stories, who was joyful, of course, in her interview with du duping delight and smiling up a storm, as it turns out, works in the media. Did you really think that these tweets could have effectively been your last words? Um, at the time, honestly, I was thinking anything. I was thinking that a book could possibly protect me. That's right. Now listen, a specifically a powerful behavioral change marketing firm called Salter Mitchell. Let me say that again. Behavioral change marketing firm, which is basically an Edward Bernays public relations brainwash type firm. That's right, Propaganda 101, Mind Control and Manipulation 101, which specializes in crisis communication. Crisis communication. You seriously, seriously cannot make this shit up. To use witnesses who just laugh it up, do a horrible acting job, display obvious duping delight, and have their background be so obvious and blatant. So let that all sink in. And as you let that sink in, I want to go ahead and remind you viewers who may be new to this what duping delight is and how to spot these actors and liars that are used on a daily and weekly basis in these staged events and on the corporate mass media. Now we've talked a little bit about how to talk to someone who's lying and how to spot a lie. And as I promised, we're now going to look at what the truth looks like. And I'm going to show you two videos, two mothers. One is lying, one is telling the truth. And these were surfaced by researcher David Matsumoto in California. And I think they're an excellent example of what the truth looks like. This mother, Diane Downs, shot her kids at close range, drove them to the hospital while they bled all over the car, claimed a scraggy-haired stranger did it. And you'll see when you see the video, she can't even pretend to be an agonizing mother. What you want to look for here is an incredible discrepancy between horrific events that she describes and her very, very cool demeanor. And if you look closely, you'll see duping delight throughout this video. But at night, when I close my eyes, I can see Christy reaching her hand out to me while I'm driving, and the blood just keep coming out of her mouth. And that, maybe it'll fade too with time, but I, I don't think so. That haunts me the most. Why don't we start, if you would, tell us uh, about Christopher. I see you have his picture there. I know you're going through a grieving process. I know you're going through a grieving process. I know you're going through a grieving process. <laughs> but I was a little skeptical of my own skepticism. And I got up and I texted my parents. I texted. But I was a little skeptical of my own skepticism. I didn't really know what to do. I was I was confused, and even if we had gone through a sort of drill, I'm pretty sure that would have gone out of my mind immediately because I was terrified. Oh, wouldn't you figure, folks? While we're on the subject, gun control is hella cool, hella cool, hella cool from Blair Stokes. I I th I thought she was a student. No, she's public relations intern at Salter Mitchell. Current. Working in the media, Salter Mitchell, WVFS, Tallahassee, 89.7 FM. And previously, she worked for HonestyForBreakfast.com, FS View, uh, Florida Flambeau, <laughs> and v, uh, WVFS, Tallahassee. And, of course, she was a student at some point in time at Florida State University. Ah, wow, yeah. Pretty interesting that you work in the media. How does that function? I thought you were just some student that they picked out of the crowd and said, can you tell us about the shooting? 
Can you tell us all about the fake shooting? So you see folks, this lying fraud is not just anybody and some random student. She is just an actor playing her role in another fake shooting. End of story case closed. So links below for Free Radio Revolution's videos uh, exposing this fake and the PR firm she works for, Salter Mitchell, in greater detail. Okay guys, thanks and please share this video.